The Tech Nervous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. All right, folks, welcome back. Tech Nervous here. Today we are going to be doing a low poly skyscraper build. Now, this is super duper easy, and it's going to be a lot of the same stuff that we went over in the last episode. And this time we're not going to be using that mirror modifier. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tab into edit mode, and we are going to basically select everything on the bottom and we're just going to delete it so we'll just do it this way z to go to wireframe b for a box selector x for delete and there we go let's go back to solid mode scale this up and then we're going to want to subdivide a couple times Okay, so that should do it. So basically, we are going to grab parking lot going here. Gotta hit shift if you want to double select or select more than one thing. So there we go. Um, and we'll just take this and Extrude it back down. Three to select this face. Whoops. And two. there real quick okay so before we go any further let's bring our palette in here so let's hit shading once again I don't have my palette open so bear with me for just a second need to be better prepared for this D downloads uh, here it is okay so we're going to drag that in, color to base color, linear to closest. Need to make sure that we set the material selected there. Then we're going to go to UV editing, make this smaller, make that bigger. And now that we've done that, we want to select everything. UV reset and we are going to drag that over here oh we need to set it to show texturing so first hit texture there you're going to turn on shadow and cavity turn the shadow up cavity to both turn those all the way up I think let's try this other green and we need faces nice thing about the box selector is you don't have to hit shift to select multiple things you just need to keep reopening the box selector so we'll do that do that and okay let's 
looking slightly better. So let's grab Let's go ahead and grab everything in here. I'm going to turn this into sidewalk eventually. change the color of this real quick so that everything it extrudes comes out the right color as well. We're going to reselect these because I didn't want to go up that high. Select B for box. Select all of these. Go back to solid and make that a little bit smaller, like that. Um, let's do control R and we'll put the door about that height. So control R go. And three face select. Door there, and let's grab these guys. Once again, if I hit I, which is what I'm going to do, it's going to inset those, except instead of insetting them on the same plane, how they're all connected, I'm going to hit I again. It's going to separate them like that. Then we will extrude out just a touch, I to inset again, and then we will extrude in. And there you have it so far. So let's do let's do a little entryway here. So let's hit I. I want to keep these ones together. And we are gonna grab this point and this point. And go back to faces by hitting three and extrude. Don't think we need to come out that far. Let's go about to the edge of the sidewalk. That sounds right. And A little bit further there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now we have that. So let's control R. Okay, 
so one Z wireframe three box select and inset extrude So, to front select mode turn that back on and we're gonna make windows out of all these so that that and right there back to solid inset inset and Inset All right, so Back to solid here take these and make them blue we need to do the same for these windows as well yeah, sometimes that move thing just gets in the way so it's easier just to get it out of the way and And I'm noticing a little problem here um, that I extruded these and I didn't inset them. So I need to fix this. And in order to do that, bring that move tool back out. Line it up there and then Scale it down in order to get them all to go in like that. And then we are going to grab this. We're going to make those all windows too. Oh, we missed coloring all of these. Let's take a look. I want to see real quick. Take the shadow off. Yeah, it looks like we got all that. So let's make this awning. I'm feeling bright red. What do you think about bright red? So that's not bad. 
Um, it's actually okay. So we go into top view. Grab all of these, and we're gonna do an inset. here get rid of that get out of here we're actually gonna leave that and screw this up to here this little guy this little guy and extrude up to here those will be my air conditioners and then And I mean, you can basically do anything you want here. I'm just kind of uh, doing what I want, as you can see. So we're looking pretty good so far. Um, there are several other things we can do as far as adding windows in real quick and things like that. I do need to adjust these faces and make sure that they're all window colored. <clears throat> um, real quickly, just as a little trick here. So. Um, I have these windows selected. Uh, we're gonna do that control plus trick again and we're gonna do that two more times and that's gonna select the entire outline of the window sill. You see that? We're gonna go ahead and take that and we'll make those black. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just control minus, control minus. into there and then we'll make those windows blue. So um, that did just change these window cells because I didn't select any of the other windows, but pretty simple selection methods for grabbing stuff. Let's try that again real quick. So if I were to grab the top surface of this building uh, and then I hit, make sure I'm in the window here, hit control plus, hit control plus again, it will just keep going out and out and out. 
Um, so that's a great way to color features and the surrounding area without having to deselect and reselect a million things. And this is just supposed to be a quick tutorial. So uh, I don't want the video to get too long. As you can see, we have most of our building here with some surrounding area. Things look pretty good. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, going to be a real simple tutorial for you guys to follow. You can make this any way you want. You can pretty much use all of these methods for making pretty much anything else. So that is going to be it for the low poly skyscraper tutorial. We will do a couple more of these. We'll do a couple more buildings. We'll do some other... Uh, low poly sculpting objects as well so if this has been helpful to you leave me a like down below don't forget to hit subscribe and we will see you in the next one guys well that's it guys that's going to wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt the merch is available go ahead and check out the teespring merch link down below it won't be available on a channel store until i reach 10,000 subscribers and so far i am just about to hit 5,000. so uh it'll be a little while a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.